Can you feel it? Something is happening. The old politics and the old smear and fear tactics don't seem to be working anymore. Project Fear trying to terrify the nation into voting Remain didn't work. Nor did the dog whistle when it came to painting Sadiq Khan as a closet extremist in the mayoral election. Nor, it appears, a Tory high command's highly personal attacks on Jeremy Corbyn, his alleged terrorist links, his unsuitability for high office, the PM calling him weak and unstable, whereas she, of course, is all together now, strong, strong and stable. And stable. But it's not working. Of course, the only poll that matters is June the 8th, but May's approval ratings over Corbyn have plummeted. She may even lose seats. Corbyn's acolytes aren't innocent of dirty dealing themselves, but he's not in government yet. It's time for the nasty party to change course before it's too late, steal Jezza's clothes, and start offering hope as well as fear. Rachel, before I answer, can I just have a minute for your brilliant interview with Nigel Farage this week? <laughs> Best thing on TV. Hope and fear, that. Hope <laughs> and fear in one dinner debate. Um, I have to say I completely agree with you. Completely agree with you. Theresa May has just played this all wrong. And as we saw with Zach's campaign, the Linton Crosby days, that school playbook, it's over. It doesn't work anymore. And how can you make Jeremy, and you know, I'm not the biggest Corbyn fan, but how can you make Jeremy Corbyn now look somewhat electable? And should, that's all down to her. Well, I'm glad that you agree yeah. with me, June. I mean, should we have a look at some of Theresa May's um, highlights of when she's <laughs> from the smorgasbord of um, vitriol that yeah. she's, been, we've, she's been feasting from? Last night showed that Jeremy Corbyn's minders can put him in a smart blue suit for an interview with Jeremy Paxman. But with his position on Brexit, he will find himself alone and naked in the negotiating chamber of the European Union. Jeremy Corbyn doesn't have the belief, the will or the plan to deliver Brexit. And he doesn't have the strength to do so either. The only way he can get into number 10 is by doing a deal with the Scottish Nationalists and the Liberal Democrats who do not believe in Brexit and do not want it to succeed. Nick, do you see in the Telegraph this morning, it's actually reported, they've been briefed, that she's dropping the politics of fear. She's realised it's not working because we're going to head for a coalition of chaos, aren't we? <laughs> Right. <clears throat> okay. oh, here we go. You talked about stealing Jezza's clothes and you talked. To, you said that the Conservatives lose seats. I give you this pledge, pledge. If the Conservatives lose seats, I will wear your green jumpsuit. <laughs> I tell you that now, the next Thursday after the election, Good. if they lose seats. The nation looks forward to it. The na well, the nation has suffered enough, but there we are. Go sure. on, hold on. Wait, sure why are you fit. so that's sure? <laughs> well, we all know that. That's the whole gag. Why are you... Ten. Come on. <laughs> Look, but she but has, her poll lead is down to three points, Nick. Uh, yes, the poll is, and we're going to discuss that a, a so little bit later. So how do you explain I, that, then, that, Nick? Let uh, talk. Very easily. That is one in a range of polls. True. It yeah. is a company that mem member told us consistently that Britain would vote leave yeah. and always said Britain would leave. And I think we all know, in fact, uh, sorry, that Britain did. would remotely leave. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It also is uh, a poll organisation in the past has had some fairly wild predictions. But let's just come back to what you say. It has not been a classic campaign by the Conservatives. I agree with that. I don't think for a second that that dog whistle politics, whatever you want to call it, is over. I think at times you have to be seen to play the man and not the ball, not the ball for the simple reason of this. For the simple reasons of this. Imagine there was, God forbid, another outrage such as Manchester. Mm -hmm. And it was announced that Cobra, unfortunately the Prime Minister couldn't be there, Cobra would be chaired by Diane Abbott. That's all you need to say, because that, again, by personalising it, I know, but politics is the business of personalities, as you know, is probably as better of any of us around this table, and that is what you have to do. If you're seeking to lead a country, you have to show that you have the wherewithal, the nous, the skills, the mental faculties to do it all, and I think that pointing out that in some instances there's <laughs> very mixed messages from Mr Corwin about certain aspects and certain allegations of some of the friends he's kept is totally and utterly valid. Carol. Theresa May said this was going to be the Brexit election. She hasn't spoken about Brexit at all, and it's things haven't gone her, well for her. It's been her biggest mistake not to make it about yeah. Brexit. Go on. She, you know, her advisor, Nick, Nick Timothy, um, he, he wanted to steer it away from that. 
catastrophic mistake. And you could say the other night by that debate on television, well, the sort of debate with her and, her and Which Corbyn. one are we talking the, about? The one, on, the one on Monday with, with Corbyn go first and then she went, oh. uh, the one with Paxman. Uh, you could say on that that she was floundering for much of the time, but then suddenly she started to talk about Brexit and the audience was whooping and cheering and hollering. But, you know, I don't think it's as much. I think, I don't think it's as much about... That's because she personalises the Brexit thing. No, but, but by saying Corbyn can't do it and I but, can. But I, do, but, but I think she's right on that. But anyway, but, but, but apart from that... Do, do I remember a lot of the, do I don't think a lot of the polls, um, young people are talked to for a lot of these polls, and, and young people don't care. It's not that they don't care about Ireland or the IRA. They weren't around for it, so it's not really, it's not really in their heads. Older people remember. The young people the, care about Brexit. Well, yes they, yes, they do care about Brexit, but I'm not even sure it's the fact of her fear tax. I think it's the fact that Corbyn, in the past few weeks, has morphed into something I don't recognise. I, don't, I think he'll still make a terrible prime minister, but he looks... A bit well, like a leader, I hate to say it, I mean, but... Greg, she is going to turn it into the Brexit election well, well, now, isn't she? Because it's, it's, it's a policy she's I think she's if you run on. it around strong and stable, yes. actually what you mean is boring. Yeah. And actually, that's what she's come across as, <laughs> boring, throughout the whole thing, without any sort of anything else. Yeah. There's nothing there. And I think what's interesting is, I still presume the Tories will win, and I still yeah, presume course, she'll be the lot. Prime Minister, but she'll have to be a very different Prime Minister, because, you know, the, the, the Teflon... Theresa May is gone. Yeah. And a lot of people in the Conservative Party and a lot of her own cabinet, who she doesn't consult about anything, including whether or not she should have an election, are now going to say, we're not putting up with this anymore. And now I, so I think uh, the strong, sta strong and stable has gone anyway. She has now got to be a different sort of Prime Minister if she's going to remain as Prime Minister. But and Greg, I can I just ask, approach Greg on one thing? She, you think she's going to be the Prime Minister, she's going to go and do the negotiations for us which could take two I years, five do years. Do you think, the ev on the evidence of this general election campaign, that she is actually the right person to conduct this negotiation? No, no I've never thought she's the right person, because no. I think she straight away had said, you know, Brexit means Brexit and all that, and, and suddenly went from somebody who was a yeah. Remainer, just, yeah. to becoming the a leading hard hardline here. Brexiteer. I think we'd get a better deal if it's not her, if you want my honest opinion. I think if... if, if which I don't think will happen, but if Corbyn was the next Prime Minister, I think actually he would get a better deal, and I think he'd get a better deal because the rest of Europe would welcome him because he's not Theresa May. But you but also, can I just say, I think yeah. the other thing with Corbyn is we mustn't forget, he's brilliant in a debate. That's how he got the Labour leadership in the first place. And bringing up his past, we all kind of know his past anyway. And I am no Corbynista, as you know. Tell but me when it comes... Was, tell me how he was brilliant with <laughs> Faisal Islam and uh, on the Sky No, I'm channel. talking how about... the brilliant last night? He was I, terrible I'm, last night. I don't think he was terrible I think last night. No, but I think well, June's point is all the bad news about Corbyn is already baked in. We know it. And people well, yeah. are... You guys are the talking people who about love how Corbyn are too young to remember But you're talking about how he performs on a stage in front of a TV Don't camera. Don't forget the that's Labour not, leadership but that's not the, debate. But he that's not the same as negotiating that. round a table. We you agree. Know, yeah, we know she's not very good. She's not very good on a TV camera, but she, I suspect she'll be much better in negotiating. Yes. Yeah, but if you, talk, if, you go, if you talk to the people in the Cabinet with her when she was Home Secretary, if you talk to the Cleggs and the Camerons, mm. she drove them all nuts. Because yeah. she, she, she wouldn't negotiate anything. Now, you're not going to get a decent deal on Brexit uh, by just sitting there and saying, that's all I'm prepared to give, I'm yeah. not going to give any more. She's not going to get it. But how do you know she's going to say that? Well, she's she, already I, I, saying that. Well, I don't, she's, wait, it doesn't yeah. mean that, that you say lots of things before a divorce. It doesn't mean you actually go in and present yourself like that when you well, are actually divorced. Oh, no, that's kind of what I, you no, have to no, judge no, things by now. Well, no, no, the, no, the question is, did she, did she want to... I mean, she went... She had a poll because she wanted to have a bigger majority. Mm. And the question I don't quite... No, is did she want a bigger majority so she, it gave her an easier time giving stuff to the Europeans? No, I'm no. Sure, I'm sure and if she didn't, if she was doing it the other way to yeah. say, oh, "I'm going to be really tough," yeah. well, she's just damaged herself and she's damaged the case. But going back to my topic, which is the politics of fear, Jeremy mm. Corbyn has never gone personal and he's also never responded to these oh. personal attacks. No, but hang on, so he hasn't gone think personal. We've got one more week. Do you, I mean, how is she going to play this now? But he hasn't gone personal. But he's, he had, his he's, he's had his lieutenants do it for him. He's, ha he's had Diane Abbott out there. He's had Emily Thornberry well, out there. They've, the got, point. they've got very he's personal. He's stayed above it all. all they have to do I don't think that works but, anymore. Look at the Trump campaign when Hillary yeah. was only attacking Trump and not talking about what she was going to do. It didn't work. What's People want to hear what, what you're going to do. What's interesting is those of us who were here that week, the election announced, we all put, I remember, we all yes. put what we thought the majority was going to yeah. be. In. I'd love to see them now.
because we were talking about things somewhere between 50 and 150. <laughs> if she gets a 50 majority now, she'll see that as... That's that, a failure. That'll be seen as... Well, it'll be seen today as a she'll success. Yeah, she'll get more than that. I think she'll get more than that. Do you think she'll get more than yeah, that? I think what, she'll what get more than What's the biggest size they do that outfit in? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I could say. We'll have one. Just, okay, maybe we'll put two together. Put two together. You can put... Yeah, one in could one day, one, one in the other. Could we have one specially made? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, we've got to get on the phone.